Okay, so what you have to understand is um, keyframes are a time frame thing. Each slide automatically the layer starts with one keyframe at the beginning and one at the end. So if you double click on this slide, <clears throat> go to your effects tab, there's key one, there's key two. The reason why it's showing 13 is because our slide is set to 10 and then the rest of this is the transition out between the next slide, okay? I always like to work in the multi-layer frame because you get to see them all at once. So let's say just something really simple. All we want to do is have the words appear on the screen one after the other, okay? So once is the first one. I want it to appear <clears throat> at the beginning and then upon, we'll make it just a little bit farther along. And then time, we'll just scoot that over there. And we'll put a ah right about there, once upon a ah time. So if I play that now, once upon a time. Okay, so that's how you can do that. Now then you can change how long they stay on the screen, <clears throat> which would mean that you would move your key number two in, okay? These are individual transitions for each specific layer. So in other words, if we wanted to have once upon a time do different things, now you notice that that transition is quite long, you can just drag it down, okay? So I'll just go in really quickly and do a bunch of different stuff. And again, I'm just going to drag it down. And let's make this one a heart just because we can. And you can do the same thing, at, obviously, at the end. Whoops. And just drag it back. Now, then we want them to disappear. So let's have this one disappear there. And that's all I'm doing is I'm just dragging them. And this is just basic beginning and end keyframes. And maybe this one, just stagger this one a little bit. Now you can see there's your transition out time, okay? So we're just going to play that. And they disappear. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for now and say that that's a wrap because that's just the bare basic. Okay, so I didn't actually let you get to see it. I somehow cut that off. So I'm just going to hit play so you can see what I was talking about and how once, then upon, uh, and time and all different types of transitions and then they disappear. So that's what it looked like. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the um, <clears throat> multi keyframe layer, which is where the heck did it go? And I will actually move it back into the correct area. So you can add keyframes. <clears throat> so if you wanted to, you could add multiple keyframes inside this, move them around and give them the timing that you want to make pictures, things not just appear and disappear when you want, but you could also make it so that they actually um, go different places. So for example, when you're on your layers, you, you've picked all your layers and now we're going to go to effects and I'm on a pawn. Okay, this is the starting point, this is the ending point. So if I were to pick this up and say I want to move it over here, and <clears throat> that's where I want it to end up. So keyframe one, it starts over here, keyframe two, it starts over there. However, now let's say we're going to just add a keyframe. So now there's two. So on three, it ends up over there. But I'm going to click on two and say that I want it to be here. So you can see that it's going from here down to here down to here. I know it's a little convoluted right now, but it will make sense. 
So we'll just play that so that you can see what it looks like. And it floats on up there. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that as well. And you can always just email me if you have any questions and we'll be good to go.